Hi there and welcome back to Peter's Fraternity 2 Dead Fire. And uh, we're in a back alley, fellow adventurers. We don't know what's going to happen, but this. This, this, and this looks pretty much like a setup. Which means we need to be careful of what's so going on there. Him what he calls that trick, and he says the Consueli. Aha, so that's the gang that robbed. How was he called? Redora. They've been haunting the allies of Queen's birth. Hmm. This guy. You the one causing trouble in Cotter's neighborhood. The wolf at this man's side raises her hackles and growls. He shushes and pats her behind the ears, all the while keeping his focus trained on you. Your smoke and mirror ghosts do not impress Calezia, and they do not scare Cotter. A line of drool drips down between the wolf's bared teeth. What? <laughs> what? Kebaba Forge Dawn finds them amusing, which is enough for Kebaba Forge Dawn. <laughs> or should we just pull spirits from the in between? Any chance you're the one shaking down the ma? What? No, we'll be streetwise. That's that's talk. Kevava Forge Dawn finds them amusing, which is enough for Kevava Forge Dawn. likes you already. What do you want? He tucks on his wolf's scruff and drags her back to his side. Nice wolf, by the way. Celestia is Cotter's heart. She is his rage and his spirit. He pets her flank and smiles. Mm. Someone robbed Captain Radora. You have anything to do Defense. with that? You seeking Vengiata for that house? Signaling to his mates, Cotta tightens his grip on his wolf's scruff. Uh, she owed money to Zamar. Her money I need back. Cotta heard a newcomer was talking with Zamar. His free hand moves toward the weapon slung on his belt. Tell the shipwright to accept Cotter's deal before he suffers another setback. Uh huh. Why are you shaking down some? Zamar can keep Principi ships afloat. So it's against the Principi. Cotta narrows his eyes. Cotta tires of seeing his family sailing derelict wrecks. Oh, it's families against families here. So that's a complicated matter. Not just the bad thugs. What's in for me if I help pro broker an agreement between you and Sama? Cotta will see that his casita knows your name. There's also a coin to spare. Redora's coin. But she's too soused to miss it. The counter will get you the Principi discount on Zamar's goods. Deal? Um. The Principi discount on Zamar's goods? That sounds cool. Hmm, sounds fair. I'll hammer out the details with Zamar. Gelarde, here's an advance. Go tell Zamar the good news. Kota will handle the rest. We'll see. Yeah, let's go to the shipwright and find out what he says about this. For now, we got 200. He'll be pissed, I'm sure, but... Yeah, the Principi... So there, Samar. Hey there. Hello there. Any news worth telling? Samar dusts off his shoulders. I spoke to the Principi on your behalf. You actually confronted those feral cats? 
Um, Kota's not a bad guy. His wolf is cute. Siding with that crook, I needed coin, not a middleman to negotiate with cutthroats. He pulls a small flintlock from his belt and holds it pointed at the ground. Hmm. You underestimate how hard the Principi are working to make cooperation your only recourse. Ah, uh, nah, we'll not side with them that much. What is that? Oh my god. Um, we did that because we wanted to get you the money. Rodora hasn't got any money. The Principi are your only choice. His chest rises and falls with heavy breaths as he lifts the gun halfway. If it's between my life and my dignity... Gritting his teeth, he thumbs the hammer down and tucks the firearm back into his belt. Principi have their ship right. And may Andra take them for it. He grabs a fistful of his beard and grunts, pulling away with a few strands of hair. Opening his palms, Amar lets them drift away with the wind. So, so, we'll see how this works out, playing all the parties against each other. Let's tell Rodora the good news, right? So the girl, gods, and so on, yeah. I think Rodora was in the wild mare, am I... Is that true? Yeah, let's tell her actually. We want to know. Good Captain Radora. A mirror's blessing on your sails, traveler. Yeah, let's go back to the wild mare and see what we can do. We're definitely in for the pirates. Or, um, at least if they are diplomatic enough to not want to kill us. Was Redora here? I think so, yes. Ado, you return. Ah, uh, the Fandra. When the dances. Okay, Redora is no longer relevant. Hmm. So, let's see. Rid of some troublemakers by the local taverns. That was talking to the sailors, right? I wanted to do that too. Ado, my hunter. To what do I owe this delight? Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing yet, but um, we'll see. We hope that we'll find some time to get out there and solve more problems. Are these the sailors? I'm not sure. Good Shante helps to pass the time at sea. Who's got twist around like a rusty corkscrew? Oh, the sailor who can't hold down quickie stew. Are these the guys that cause trouble? I'm not sure. The Royal Swordsman. Defiance Bay, am I right? The sizable Omawa smiles and claps you on the shoulder hard. Okay, um... 
Defiance Bay. Are we right? Uh, who are you again? I was but a face in the crowd. But I remember the one who walked out of Hadrid House alive. He claps you on the shoulder again harder, and this time you recognize inebriation behind his enthusiasm. So, what brings you here, friend? Um, so we became friends there? Hmm. What are you doing? Captive gave us extra coin to occupy ourselves while we're on leave. We've been draining Valian wine cellars and trying to remember the words of Rawatai anthems <laughs> loudly as often as not. He turns to his compatriots with unrestrained glee. Um, Martino Valera wants you out of Queen's birth for some reason. Valera, one of the stuck up pirate hunters. Yes. We move for no one, friend. His expression darkens and his hands drop to his sides. Hmm. Well. Look, if you just beat it for a few hours, then we both win. That's that's something we'd we do. We don't want them harm. No. Tell the Valeras they can lick my boots. <sighs> There's a musician playing his lute by the bridge. Best songs in the district. First the sailor looks like he's going to fire back with harsh language, but his expression softens. Here he plays any Rawatai songs. Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. He gestures with a jerk of his head. <laughs> All right. All right. <sighs> Now that was easy. He liked us for some reason. Mr. Martino. Yeah, you'll see that you don't have to kill everyone. Maybe except you one day, Mr. Martino. When the t times are changing. Mr. Martino is the one of the Valeras who set us up for this, by the way. Also, it's still... Hmm. It's still going on normally here. Hmm. All these gangs, it's odd. Everyone belongs to a gang, which makes it hard. Like... Killing one of them would be killing everyone. Ha. Huh. So. What to do? He'll be waiting for us? Probably no. Um... Family pride, yes. Um, aha, the hole down in the gullet. We should find Persa. But I don't know. I don't know. I think we should probably wait here or something. Or we should try and get into the Valera estate and see if Martino talks to us. Because that would be mighty fine, so we should maybe do it. But they have a day-night day rhythm now, which makes it a little bit more complicated. Orzo is here. Peace, yo. Yeah, we're the new best friends of your. Of your daddy. What a nice carpet. Look at that. There's a ship there. And is there more ship like decoration, by the way? Hmm. Let's go up there. Find out about the decoration and nothing else, right? That's the important thing here. What 
do we have here? Mm. Nothing would we could discern. There's the guard. People are sleeping, I guess. Oh, there's a tello. There's also who is that guy? Oh, the guard in a. Mm -hmm. Martino's here. Can we talk to him? Trouble sleeping, watcher? Me, I sleep like an infant. But okay, your father not. Not so much. Which is good. We can tell him. Good night, watcher. We can speak in the morning. Oh, come on, you're awake. You should speak with us now. Ah, <sighs> all right, all right. Well, if we could sleep here, that would be quite fine quite fine Let's see what we can do about this uh, thank you for watching though and happy gaming to you next time we'll probably take a room in the wild mare enjoy ourselves and then return and uh, tell all the people we solve their problems in our own kind of shady way. And maybe we'll get into some fights. But only, only when, and this was also the reason why we avoided so many fights, only when we have some equipment to boot. I mean, we're okay, but Adonan, yeah, and Quarrel, Kelvasa. And Gerstine definitely have a problem instead of an equipment. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you next time. Have a great time until then.